Today we're going to show you how to replace a GR1000T tape. And first you're going to start with the bottom foot and taking that off and there's two screws. One on the top, you flip it over, there's one on the bottom as well. And then you're going to go to the top side and you're going to want to take off the rod clamp, and that's with the knob, the one on the top. All right, we're going to slide them off of each other. Set this guy aside. Now before you remove any of the caps, the top or the bottom, the first thing you're going to want to do is to tape down the dowels. And they will be on the opposite side of the rail and you'll see a little metal circle. And that's to make it so they not only don't fall out, but they stay in the same position so you can get the screw back in. And you're going to do the same with the top. Now you can take off the top and bottom cap. Now the rail should slide out nice and easy. The next thing we're going to do is remove the tape. Now, within the tape there are rollers on both sides and the bottom roller is spring-loaded. So you're going to want to hold that up, slide the tape over the top and keep a hold of that roller, otherwise it's going to fly all over the place. And turn your rod, take out the other roller, and your tape is removed. Now we're going to replace the tape. The first thing you're going to do is put on the spring-loaded roller. Now the part with the notch in the roller goes towards the bottom of the rod. And that's where the track is. Just like that. You're going to want to hold it down with your thumb. Take your other hand, slide the tape over the roller, and slowly work it into the top grooves to where you have it in this groove and this groove. This takes a little bit of finesse. But you're going to want to slide your hand down just over halfway. You're going to pick up your rod, grab your other roller, put it in the bottom. Again, the notch goes towards the groove, the bottom of the rod. Put that in there. And you're going to slide the tape over the top. Now another thing to mention, the grommets that are in the tape go towards the bottom, otherwise it's going to be upside down. The grommets have to be where the groove is. Now, a trick to make sure that everything is aligned properly, you're going to want to grab both sides of your tape and kind of do a little test run like that to make sure it's in the groove nice and evenly. Now your next step, you're going to put on the rail, and again the rail is keyed, so if you look at the bottom of it, it only goes on one way. Now, your next step you are going to put on the top cap. And these are keyed as well, they only go in one way. And where these prongs are wider, that goes on the plastic rail side. And 
and you're going to want to finger tight these screws a little bit just to get them in the dowel. And then just snug them in. Don't run them in too much. You can flip it over and we're going to do the bottom side. Now we're going to put the rod assembly back together and we're going to slide the top of the rod into the foot first and then you're going to push together this clamp and you'll notice that these prongs of this clamp go into the tape assembly part of the rod. Now you can put the rod clamp back together. And you put the bolt in the clamp side that's fitted for the bolt. Make sure the washer gets back onto the rod. And lastly, We're going to put the foot assembly back together, you can pop it on there. And put in both those stainless screws. We're going to test it real fast, but before, you're going to want to remove the scotch tape and then slide the tape through a couple of times to make sure it's not hung up on any of the clamps. If it is, you can just loosen the clamp and slide the tape free. That's how you replace the tape on a GR1000 series rod.